Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, the Dark Knight Cecil was demoted from his position as Captain of the Red Wings of Baron, and to uh, make up for questioning his king's motives in stealing the, uh, the crystals, he is now charged with delivering a bomb ring to the Village of Mist, alongside the Dragon Knight King. But before we continue our adventure, I just wanted to kind of make a little quick note. The last time I mentioned that I was going to the Distant Worlds 25th Anniversary Final Fantasy concert. It, it was good. It was it was the best concert I've ever been to, to be, and to be blunt. You know, they played... For Final Fantasy IV, they played the Battle with the Four Fiends, which was a lot better than I expected. And it was one of the ones I was most anticipating the, that whole evening. And I was... I was very much impressed with that. They also played the theme of love toward the end, which we heard in the previous episode. You know, a personal favorite of mine, so I was very really glad that made it into the lineup too. You know, Final Fantasy V had the main theme, which sounded pretty much the same as it did from the uh, Tour de Japan DVD release over in Japan, if you've seen that on YouTube. It you know, pretty much sounded the same as that, but it's still good, of course. That was I was kind of hoping that they would have did their own little spin on it, but they also included Clash on a Big Bridge as part of the encore, which I was very, very pleased with, that, since that's my favorite battle theme in the series. And it was just a great night overall. It's, you know, the vocal pieces were performed great. You know, the opera from Final Fantasy VI, that was, that was epic, for lack of a better word. And I could go on and on about that. It was like there wasn't a single bad choice in the entire lineup. But as we stand here listening to the main theme of Final Fantasy IV, it's, I think it's time we pick up some provisions here in the, the town of Baron. So here we go. And some of these pots have items hidden in them. They become less frequent as you progress in the game. So let's do some exploring. We got the inn. We don't really have any reason to, reco to stay there. Hey, mister, why are you wearing clothes like that? Are you a bad man? It's like, no, I'm the Dark Knight. I, you know, I, I'm like the King's son. Haven't you heard of me? Or did everybody just conveniently forget about all my prestige and all the work I did for the Kingdom of Baron up until now? All because I got demoted, like, last night. Dancers wanted beauty and dancing skills a must. An equal opportunity employer. Well, Bart, uh, Bart. Well, Cecil, you are unemployed now, so I guess if you need a, a some extra gill, you could always take up dancing. Found a potion. Oh, we got a door, or at least yeah, if you can. There are hidden switches in certain parts of the walls. Sometimes when you find a door like that, or there'll be something you can step on. We got Dwarf Bread, that does the sight white magic spell. It basically zooms out the map so you can see your surroundings a little clearer. So if you're lost, you might be able to find your next destination that way. We have a tent, which recovers your HP and MP. You know, it's not as strong, as effective as a cabin, but at this stage in the game, it's more than enough for what you need. We got an eye drop that, clear, that cures the darkness status ailment. Nothing on the shelf, nothing in the pot. Oh, the Dark Knight from the castle. Have a drink. Well, no, no, sir, your money's no good here. Like, well, well, thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I already talked to her. I can't dash in this game. Cecil of the Red Wings. I've done nothing wrong. I always pay my taxes on time and in a full amount. Okie dokie, you well, all right, Cecil, are you uh, demoted to tax collector now? Playing the Sheriff of Nottingham? Something like that. Yeah, make sure you stock up on some of the good stuff. Let's see. Oops. When you're in the item menus, you can uh, either buy one of an item by itself, or you can change the amount to purchase at one time 
Your inventory space is limited in this game, unlike in future Final Fantasies. And uh, if you buy the items separately, they'll start filling up different separate slots in your inventory. And then you'd have to go into the item screen to organize it together yourself. Anyway, I'm going to buy uh, some Maiden Kisses. Cures the, uh, the Toad status. It's been a while since I've played this game and I'm doing the keyboard thing again, so I'm just kind of... Bear with me as I remember how to play. It's been a while since I did Final Fantasy V. That bonus episode will go up eventually, if it isn't up by the time this video is uploaded anyway. I haven't done it just yet. I'll buy two eye drops and... Two antidotes, sure why not, that, that's, that's enough for now. There's no reason to get gold needles at this point, and there aren't that many enemies that cast the, the petrify status ailment anyway. I don't know, you tell me, old man. Why did the king want his soldiers to uh, learn the dark sword? And that door is locked, we can't go in that room yet. Remember that place for later. Oh, there's Sid over there. Oh, her dad pulled another all-nighter. Well, at least, at least she believes that Cecil's a good guy. We have some books here on uh, basically uh, airship technology and research and whatnot. And uh, don't 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 touch the fire. And there's nothing in that bookshelf. I finished the new engine model or model engine. It's like, all right, Sid. Why don't you show it to me? We could we could take a spin over to Mist. Save ourselves some trouble. And uh, I guess we should let him rest. But yeah, I love this town theme. It's a really just peaceful. Ooh, the Devil Road. What does this do? Nothing. It does nothing because Mysidia sealed the other side of it. Which is understandable considering we just killed a bunch of their people and stole their water crystal. Yeah, and we got a training room downstairs. So basically these guys will explain how to uh, do stuff in the game and the guy, the weird looking guy over there wearing the uh, turban brave thing. That's a naming way. If you talk to him you can change your character's names. You fight hopeless battles, you'll just die. Thanks for that. Okay, you have to hold down the L and R buttons to run. And you can use the L and R. You press left during battle, you'll select all the enemies. And pressing right will select all your allies. And you can do that in the menu, too. You can't carry more items. You can give them to the fat chocobo in the chocobo forest. Yep, so you gotta get... Gish... Gishol vegetables then go to a place that smells like chocobo use that the fat chocobo appears and you give him items yep. Yep. and if I'm not very confident in myself I should lower my battle speed and there are save points it's very basic stuff yep. naming way is here to change names I'll just showcase this sure why not uh, let's see you know what? I normally wouldn't do this because I feel like it, I should keep it more authentic, but Kane should be spelled with a K, I'm sorry. You know, just like Kefka, it should be K. It's a K. It's what makes the name. Oops. Yeah, right, there we go. That looks better. Yeah, it's a deviation from how this translation handled it, but I prefer it with a K, so I'm going to make it a K. I was tempted to change Cecil to Phoenix, but eh. In case people are just like new to the series or something, and, or haven't played this game and just happen to stumble across my Let's Play before somebody else's, I'd rather them just get the information right. Anyway, we cannot get 
weapons and armor in this town yet, but fortunately we're well enough equipped that that doesn't matter. And the village of Mist is beyond the cave of the Northwest. Yeah. You know, you li you've lived here all your life, Cecil, but you still don't know where the neighbors live? For shame. We got an ether. Okay, whoa, this is Rosa's mom. Okay, 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 Cecil, just, just a, just, you know, a frame of reference, you know, you know, when you meet your girlfriend's mom, it's kind of like looking at, into a window into the future. So, um, uh, just, uh, keep that in mind. Please don't get Rosa caught up in anything like that. Don't worry, no, nothing will ever happen to Rosa as long as I'm around. You have my word. We found a maiden's kiss. Yeah, Rosa's in good hands with uh, Cecil. Nothing will ever happen to her. You'll, you'll dance for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Broad daylight and everything. I guess the things are pretty loose in, uh... The Baron Kingdom, despite all that's been said before. That was, uh, interesting. But we can walk around in the water here. There are hidden items out here in the, uh, pond. I forget how many. It might have just been the two there. Yeah, I guess that was it. Anyway, that copper hourglass uh, temporarily casts the stop spell on the, all enemies in the on the screen for a very short period of time. There are like stronger versions, like silver and I think even gold hourglasses, that'll cast a stop st spell for a longer period of time. So just keep an eye out for those and hang on to them because they might come in handy in the future. And what's Rose's mom doing out here? Okay, so there's an underwater. Uh, there's a waterway through the castle over in that door we couldn't open. All the times I've played this game, I never realized this place was here. Got a gold needle for curing the uh, petrify status. And the phoenix down, those are always nice. And another gold needle. I don't know how a needle is supposed to uh, prevent or undo petrification, but it works. And that's pretty much everything we could do in the town of Baron. So back on the world map. Do some wandering around. We might get to demonstrate a battle. Or not. We have a chocobo forest. The white chocobo uh, restores your uh, party's MP, but we don't have any magic casters. We found a ge geishel vegetable, or geishel, however it's pronounced. Okay, there aren't any more vegetables around. But then you go into a space like this, it smells like a chocobo. If I were so inclined, I could go to the vegetables here and make a black, uh, black a fat chocobo appear. But I have no business doing that. So let's, uh... Take the chocobo and uh, make our way to the northwest. Can't climb up waterfalls, not that we have any reason to do that anyway. But yeah, we can just run around wherever we, wherever we like. And here's the cave to mist right here. We're fully charged so we don't have to worry about that. The cave of mist. And we have our first battle against goblins. Alright, Kane has a jump command which basically allows him to leap into the air for uh, a, a short span of time which pr makes it so that he can't be targeted by enemies or allies. You can't attack him, you can't heal him either until he lands. Then he does double damage when he hits his target. And Cecil, he has the dark wave attack which uh, Expends an eighth of his H of his max HP to uh, launch an attack that hits all enemies. 
So I can pretty much one shot like an entire group of uh, oh, what's this? Of goblins. Turn back. Who's there? Oh, and there's no answer. Found a potion. And we have some more enemies, the sword rats. These guys uh, counter attack with a needle attack if you hit them without killing them. And here's the dark wave in action. The goblins are down. But since I did a group attack, uh, you know, it didn't do any... They didn't counter attack because I hit all targets. It's, it's not a guaranteed uh, way to avoid uh, enemies counter attacking, but... Sometimes it works. Okay, that was just a group of six goblins. I just did Dark Wave once and killed them all in one shot. And I drop. Alright, continuing on. Just more goblins. There are other enemies in this cave besides goblins, but and the sword rats, but we haven't seen them yet. We got a tent. Always nice. Those come in handy. Cecil gained a level from that battle. Yeah, the downside of this Super Nintendo game is that the uh, dungeon music resets after every uh, battle. And the same is true of the overworld music. So it, you have to basically stand still to get the whole melody. Leave now. Is that the Phantom Beast? I can't remember what voices I had for everybody. Uh, I should be alright. You're from Baron, aren't you? Who's there? If you turn back, no harm will come to you. Show yourself! You still insist on proceeding? You kinda have to, but this is a chance to, uh... If you say no, you can back off and, uh... Do some healing if you feel like you need to use a potion on yourself, but... I think I'll be alright, so I insist. We must deliver this bomb ring to the village of Mist. I don't have a job. This is this is all I uh, all I have left. I'm a delivery boy now, and I have no choice. The fog is gathering. I'm so tempted to do the the fog battle theme from Persona 4 now, but we have Mist Dragon, our first boss of the game. It's basically a tutorial boss that helps you uh, learn how to adapt to uh, changing conditions during battle scenes, particularly with bosses. Yeah, it's become a staple in the, the series. Enemies like uh, the Guard Scorpion from Final Fantasy VII or Welk from Final Fantasy VI, where they, the battle situation changes where you're not supposed to attack the enemy at certain points. I tried, uh, great, I set myself up for that. The dragon turned into mist. But yeah, I can't can't do anything to him right now. I'm just gonna stand here and uh, fortunately it didn't counterattack, but yeah, I guess I'll demonstrate it. Okay, this is why it's bad to attack. The mist nullifies all attacks, yeah, and it will counterattack if you hit it like that. So basically, you have to hit it when it's back in dragon form. But I'm not, I'm not worried. Cecil and Kane have great defense for this battle, and it's still early in the game. Now is the chance to attack. Right, here we go. So just wail away at it. Jump attack. This should finish it if. Or I guess not. Come on, Cecil. Should be able to get it down. There we go. And we've won. We've slain the Mist Dragon. But now we can proceed over to the Village of Mist next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 4. 
This is Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.